Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing a in the bag. Um, I have a tournament coming up tomorrow, so I just thought I would go ahead and give you a quick rundown of what discs I have and what I'm going to be throwing and stuff like that. Um, so for starters, I got a grippy Q bag. Uh, this one is the AX5, I believe. I really love it. It holds all of my discs. I don't have to worry um, about running out of room and it's got plenty of space for coats if I'm in a you know colder tournament or anything like that. Um, but with that being said we'll go and get started. I will start with my putting putters and recently got these. Um, I got the two of the flex two Fle flex three <laughs> glow D-line rainmakers. I have a pair of the Flex 2s and I really liked them and I just figured you know what I'm gonna go ahead and try and give these a shot. Um, I really like the plastic it's like super kind of grippy especially in those hot summer rounds whenever your hands get a little sweaty. It just feels really good. Um, so yeah both are 174 grams. They feel great. They putt great. Next up is my throwing putter. Uh, I only have one. I use it for like real short approaches where I just need something to go straight or um, I'll throw it off the tee quite a bit too if it's like a shorter hole. But I have the Paul Macbeth Tour Series Luna. Uh, I really, really love how it feels. You know, you throw it up, highs are flip, and sometimes you get a little bit of fade, but for the most part, it just pretty much goes straight with a real reliable uh, fade to the left. Um, so next will be my approach discs and approach discs are something that I really <laughs> struggle with because I, I've had so many different ones and I'm finally think I've found the ones I really like. Um, so for starters, I have a four times Paul Macbeth zone, uh, shout out to my friend who sold me this, you know who you are, uh. But yeah, it's absolutely beautiful, flies great. Um, I use this for, you know, Anheuser forehands, it'll kind of hold that line and then fade out towards the end. Um, I'll use it for Heiser backhands and, you know, real real good approaches where I need something that just needs to get around like a corner or something like that. Um, and sometimes I'll get a skip or some nice ground play with it. My next one is a little more overstable, it's the first run Saki Slammer. I was unsure about this one for a while, but it feels great. It really does. I really like the thumb track on it. Uh, and this is one that I typically only throw backhand on it and I'll throw it kind of towards the ground using a big skip to get it up. And uh, yeah, I, I really like this one because it's more overstable. There's a couple of holes at this tournament that we're gonna be at where you really just have to get around something. Uh, and this is the disc that I'm gonna trust to do that. Uh, now we have my mids. Probably my, it's the one I probably have the least of in my bag, but they're my favorite to throw. I have the C-Line MD3. Uh, this is the Innova made one before they switched over and started making their own. Um, but this one is beat in. I got gouges out of it uh, from just throwing it so often. And this thing is probably the most reliable disc I have in my bag. I can put it on hyzer, I'll flip up and just go dead straight the whole way. Um, I can throw it on Anheuser and I'll hold it. It's just definitely my most versatile mid-range and I absolutely love it. It's also the longest mid I've had in my bag. Like I've had this longer than any of my other, yeah, pretty much any of my other discs. I got this real soon. My next one is the Iron Samurai Color Glow MD3 uh, Eagle McMahon Signature Series. This one just feels so good. It's super glidey. I can throw it on a hyzer flip and I'll get that reliable finish to the left. Um, it's just the the IS3, if you don't have one, I highly recommend it. They feel great. The plastic feels great. I love the color glow plastic. 
Um, but that's my other mid. It's a little more overstable than this one. Um, so it's like that nice in between. If I need something to go out there and it's going to finish a little bit more left, that's what I'm throwing. And then last but not least, I have the Crescent Falcon 2 Simon Lazat MD, Color Glow MD4. This one is fantastic. I love it. I can throw it on, you know, I can throw it flat and it'll go and then fade out towards the end. I can throw it on Anheuser, it'll hold it pretty well. Um, and again, the Color Glow plastic just feels so good on these. And I just, I love the way it flies. It's incredible. All right, so now for my fairways, we'll start with understable, go to overstable. Um, my most understable is my Castaplast Falk. Um, I absolutely love this thing. I love the way it feels. It has a little bit of a dome to it, um, but it feels great. I can throw it on a hyzer flip and it's going to consistently go right and it's going to push that for you know the whole the whole distance of the hole and it just it feels great in the hand and I I love it my next one is not quite as understable it's my uh, geo essence by disc mania it out of the box flies dead straight like I the starter pack challenge this is the one I was throwing the most I really liked it it felt good um, it flew super straight, had a little bit of, of turn in it, um, but I'm hoping to get it beat in a little bit more for this tournament. Uh, maybe go out and get a round in today or something. Maybe hopefully get, get it to get a little more turn out of it because I do really like the way the plastic feels. I like how it is significantly more flat up top. But yeah, I can trust this one to go dead straight maybe a little bit of fade and then it's going to turn back towards the end i love it the next one i have is this uh i took a little bit of a gamble on this disc i have never thrown it before or anything like that but it's actually a finish line f2 era so it's a factory second um i got it at maverick disc golf it's it's unique. <laughs> I saw Drew Gibson throw it. I thought it was really cool. It feels really good. I really, I really like the way the plastic feels. Um, it feels like one of those more premium plastics. Um, but this one, the flight numbers are like, uh, I think like eight five negative one one. But this thing consistently gets that fade and then turns back and or turns and gets that fade back. But I, I love it. Uh, feels good. This one's 172 weight. Uh, most of the ones in my bag are like 170 to 174, so I prefer to throw. But yeah, this one is great. I love it. If I need something that's maybe going to go a little right and then come back out of it, just to get a little extra distance or something, the era is what I'm throwing. So <laughs> this next one is special to me for couple different reasons um so this is the first like not no name company but like a lesser known name company disc that I got and I actually got it as a Christmas gift from uh one of my friends he we decided we we're like oh you know what let's get each other a disc that we haven't used before haven't thrown before from a company that we were unsure of and this one made my bag instantly and I've been throwing it ever since. I think it's absolutely fantastic. Um, it's a Disc Destroyer Stork. And this thing, I think this is in the A medium plastic. It feels so good. It is super, there you go. It's super flat top. I can crank this thing on backhand and this thing just goes dead straight. I. Nicknamed it the tree magnet because it does like to hit some trees and find uh, trees wherever, you know, I could have a 30 foot wide gap and it'll hit some trees, but that's in my head. That's not the disc. <laughs> the disc is absolutely awesome. I've, I've thrown this one like probably the most out of all my fairways just because there's so many, especially on this course coming up, there's so many tight fairways where you just need to be down the middle that are a little too much distance to chew off with my mids so I'll be throwing the stork 
I know how it's going to fly. It's going to go dead straight. Sometimes, uh, you know, whenever it starts turning out or fading out and it hits the ground, sometimes it gets a big skip, which could be good and bad. Um, but I can also throw it on just a slight Anheuser line and it's just going to push that and then just go straight. And I love it. It is awesome. So next up, I have my MVP Tesla. This one was, I, so I had a Tesla. It was like my first distance driver I bought. I was reading a bunch of stuff on it. And I mean, for a nine speed distance driver, I throw more of like fairway. Um, but it's the first one I ever bought. I lost it. And I was like, you know what? I need to have another one. I was trying out all these different discs and I was like, you know what? I need to come back to it. So I got it. I love the way it flies. I get that consistent negative one, two out of it every single time. And it just feels great to throw. So that's, that's one uh, that is in the bag. Always will be in the bag. My next one is my Color Glow Innova Tour Series Greg Barbsby Eagle. Um, this one is awesome. I love how flat it is up top. I prefer this over the Champion Eagles 100%. I can rip this one on a little bit of an Anheuser line and it's going to go out and it's going to fade back just how you would think. I can also release it on a Heiser flip and I'll push up, go for a little bit, and then start to, start to fade back. Um, but yeah, I, I really enjoy this disc. I really like it and it kind of... It's for more of those windy shots where, you know, the basket may be straight ahead of you, but you know if you're throwing into some headwind that this thing is going to turn over, and I can always trust it to fight that wind and come back out. Now, last but not least is, for my fairway drivers, is my Ricky Wysocki Orbital Felon. I... I haven't thrown this too much to be honest, but I put it in my bag because I've thrown a lot of felons before and they all feel good. This one feels great. I love the way it feels. I love the way it looks. I love this teal with this little sake bomb outline here. It feels great. It throws really well. This one I can trust to hyzer flip and it's going to go for just a second and start dumping down. I get big skips off this one. Um, I can trust it if I'm throwing it straight at a gap where I need it to hook left or right, right towards the end. I'm throwing this one. Um, there's several holes like that on this course in particular where you need something overstable that's going to get around a corner. Um, I'll also use it sometimes. There's a couple of hills that have like uphill approaches. I'll use it for that sometimes. Really throw it into the ground on about this angle. It'll hit that and skip up. It's very useful, very practical, and I really, really like that disc. All right, so now for my distance drivers. Um, I have four of them. I will start with my most understable, moving up to more overstable. But I have my Discraft Hades. I love this thing. It's 170 weighted. I love the swirls that you get on the back. Um, I ripped rip this thing on a flat line it's gonna you know turn forever and then finally fight out of it um, towards the end of the flight but also I can hyzer flip it and it's gonna go dead straight for a while and then come back and I I really like it it's uh there's a lot of uphill to the right shots at this course so I need something with more under stability since I will have that nose up just a little bit so I can try and get those lines down Next I have my, <laughs> this one is old, um, but it is a Innova Star Destroyer, Ricky Wysocki stamped. Um, this one is like my go-to distance driver. If I need something to just go straight, I beat this thing in where I literally can throw it on a hyzer flip and it's just literally gonna go straight and has that consistent fade at the end. I've this was like my workhorse for my very first tournament I ever played. I parked several baskets with this. Um, and I just, I really like how it feels. I like how it flies and I can trust it. And no matter what condition I'm playing in, if it's super windy, 
I can almost just throw it as an understable disc because I know it's going to turn uh, the whole way. If we're in a headwind, tailwind, I know it's going to be a little more overstable. I just, I really have a lot of trust in this one. It feels great. I really like it. Um, next, for a little bit more of an overstable negative uh, 1.3 flight, I have the new Discmania DD3, the new C line. It feels great. It's definitely more overstable than the Destroyer, but I can still get it to flip up, go a little bit, and then come back. It just comes back a little bit quicker, uh, but I really like it. It feels great, looks great, throws great. And last but not least, my my most overstable uh, distance, we I kind of went back and forth on which one I was going to bag because I do have a PD2, which is more overstable, but I'm just going to go with the PD because this, for being a 03, this thing is pretty beefy, but I can also get it to fly straight for a while and then have that, that hard hook at the end where it wants to fight back to the ground. Uh, this one again is the new Italian sea line plastic. I love the color, love the feel. Um, I I have this one at 171, fights the wind great, and I've also thrown it on a couple of turnover backhands, and it really gets that real nice consistent flight um, for a turnover that you're wanting, get extra distance. But that's gonna wrap it up here. I do have, like I said, I do have a tournament. Whenever this video comes out, I'll have the tournament tomorrow. Um, so drop a like on this video. Comment down below what you think I'm going to get. I will be in the tournament with Logan. So comment and see who you think is going to beat who. Um, this is a local course for us. It's the one that we record our first video at. Um, so let us know what you think let us know if you want us to do more in the bag stuff because i know logan is going to post his in the bag also um but other than that i will catch you all later